some of the words. Um, if I don't know a word, I will spell it out. Um, but the voodoo tradition is very different um, tradition than probably most of us are used to. Um, so that's why I want to bear in mind um, that this is the New Orleans voodoo tradition. So here is the box. Oops. It has a hard cover, which is nice. Um, I do not like this insert. The cards just, you know, like usual, they fly all over the place. It does not have a string to pull that out, so you really have to get your nails down in there. So, but there's the box. Let me redo the back. This was a $35 deck, so this was a, um, a more expensive deck. Um, so let's read the back here. It says... The first tarot to celebrate an African-American culture. This book and 79-card deck captures both the spirit and the imagery of Voodoo's Amer American, Af or, I'm sorry, Voodoo's African, West Indian, and Catholic influences. Ancient and earth honoring, Voodoo's practices take on different forms specific to time and place, but its essence remains focused on the lo, loa. I think it's loa, L-O-A. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. The potent spiritual forces of voodoo that are manifest directly through human beings and their actions. The authors draw st strong parallels between the weight and throth parrots, the Kabbalah tree, Kabbalistic tree of life, in the voodoo tradition as it is practiced in New Orleans. Just as the major and minor arcana of the tarot represents the archetypes of the human psyche and the natural forces of our world, so do the loa of voodoo, embodied the primal energies of the universe. With a variety of spreads and readings, the author shows how the tarot can be an ideal channel through which the Loa, Loa exercises their powers in powers to teach, advise, and initiate the serious students into their mysteries. A mu musician involved in sacred and secular drumming and editor for Black Moon Publishing, Louis Martini is also the author of Waters of Return, the Aeonic Flow of Voodoo, Sally Ann Glassman's award-winning drawings, paintings, charcoals, and pastels have been widely exhibited. This distinctive and evocative image, images she has created for this book and deck mirror the colorful gaiety of New Orleans experience and the mystery of Voodoo, adding a completely new dimension to the very ancient tradition of tarot divination. This um, is by Destiny Books. And I believe, let's see the book here. It was published in 1992, I believe. Let me just double check here. Yep, 1992. So it's an older deck. Um, I love the images in this deck. So let's get into the book. Here's the book. Huge, huge book, guys. I mean, look at the size of this book. This is, um, with some other inserts, um, it's 276 pages long. So it's a lot of reading. Um, very, very good information in this book. Uh, I read this book. I'm going to reread it because there's so much in here that you just cannot comprehend the first time you read it. So... It goes into the acknowledgments um, to the ancestors and the table of contents. It has an introduction. Um, voodoo, a playing definition. Common elements of voodoo. The role of sacrifice in voodoo. The appropriate materials for sacrifice. Possession. The brevet. Brevet. Um, 
voodoo in the Western eccentric tradition, voodoo in the tree of life, tarot and voodoo. Then it goes on to the cards. Okay, they have um, what they call, okay, we have the, um, the major arcana, which they call theirs the 22 roads and the wild card. So they have 23 cards um, because they have that wild card. Okay, um, then they call their minor arcana the 40 spirits, which there's four aces, which is Kether. Um, the four twos, which is Shock Moth. The four threes is Binya. The four fours is Chest. The four fives is Gebera. The four sixes is Tepareth. The four sevens is Netzak. The four eights is Hod. The four nines is Yasad. And the four tens is Malkuth. And then there's 16 temple cards, okay, which are the court cards, which there's Hungan, Mambo, La Place, and Hunsis. Sisis. And then it goes into the cards in practice. Rituals that you can use with a deck. There's readings. There's divinatory meanings of the cards. The last judgment and afterward. And then it has an appendix of contacts and supplies that you can do. Uh, the glossary, the biography, and the index. So... Here's a quote um, from Crowley in 1938. It says, also, the Obeya and the Wanga, these shall, these he shall learn and teach. This is a beautifully, um, if you don't know anything about voodoo, it's a very good book. Um, I just want to go into a little bit of this here. But it tells you a lot. Um, it has the Tree of Life drawn out. It has um, some great spreads in here. It has um, some rituals in here, which are really nice. So, Okay, so let's get into the cards. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to pronounce these as best as I can. And I'm going to use the book for help. <laughs> so, okay. The first card, and I love this card, it is, would it be our fool? Oop. And that is called the world egg. And it says here, um, it is, for the divination, it would be surprise. Unexpected beginnings, influence from the highest in spiritual matters, possible disruption of physical matters. And they call this the De, um, Zero Dambala and Aiden's World Egg, the Fool or Alpha. Alpha. Elef. 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 A-L-E-P-H. So the next one is Dr. John. And you can see the drum. He's um, the drum. <clears throat> it says, um, this card is the Magnus or Beth. Divination is craft, consummate skills in a matter at hand, occult power or wisdom, the ability to see roots cause clearly, identification of the individual will with a greater or more inclusive will.
two is Maria Lavelle. 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 You are Lavelle, the high priestess. Gimel. Connection is possible between seemingly diverse elements. The words of Alistair Crowley speak most elegantly of Our Lady. Pure, exalted, and gracious influence enters the matter. Hence, change, altercation, increase, and decrease, fluctuation. And that's from the Book of Thoth. <clears throat> There's three. This is Aenzon, the Empress, or Daleth. These cards are gorgeous. It just brings in that tradition that you can see from New Orleans. One day, I will get there. <laughs> um, the divination is love, beauty, pleasure, and success. Protection for women's affairs and the just in general, concern for purity of devotion. Four is local, the emperor, Tadzadi. The divination is protection, ambition, victory, Strife, conquest, and war. So this would be our Hierophant. And they call it Vav. Master of the Head. Divination is realization of purpose. Initiation, teachings, assistance from forces perceived as highly placed. I love this. This would be the lover's card. Which is um, Marasa. Lover's. Zion, divination, acceptance of differences, the possibilities of turning a perceived threat to your benefit by emphasizing common ground or interest, childlike qualities, childish fear, anger, and or mirth. Seven, they call dance, which would be our chariot or chef. Divination is transcendence of a situation through a static physical action, triumph, victory, constructive or destructive adherence to set forms of action. Eight, possession, which would be our strength or lust, or theft. Divination is strength, a bursting free from the bounds of limiting belief, courage in the sufficient energy to act effectively. Nine would be Koshe, the hermit, or Yod, or Yad, however you say. Divination would be retreat from daily life for a spiritual purpose. Internal inspiration, realization of the amount of 
others' sacrifice that we may grow and prosper. A sense of the sacredness of all life. Ten is market. Market would be our wheel or cap. divination, a realization upon which your works or very extents existence, I'm sorry, um, a realization upon which your works or very existence depends, a rapid change of fortune. Eleven secret societies. That would be our judgment. Or I'm sorry, our justice. Adjustment or lamed. Divination, the moment when all hangs in balance. Cases of law. Cases of cons conscious. Pangs of conscious calling one to action. Recourse to the ancestors for a decision in the matter at hand. Twelve, a zombie, or zombie, zombie, the hanged man or mem. Divination is sacrifice, eternally motivated and enforced. I'll turn the page here. Questions, will, and the questioning of will cause <clears throat> resolved to decay and failure of the spirit, body, or mind. These cards, guys, are beautiful. The thickness is wonderful. The cardstock is wonderful, and I didn't show you guys the backs. There's the backs, but this cardstock is absolutely amazing on these cards. Les Moritz. I'll move the book over here. This would be our death card, or nun. Divination, change, flux. Message from the dead, and particularly from the queers' ancestors. Probable need to make offerings to the ancestors. Fourteen. I'm trying not to get that glare on there. Um, T. Bonange. This would be our temperance. Or art or semeca. Divination, a call to action based on who you are and your place in the world. Assertion of self. Discovery of the true self. And overcoming of obstacles to the expression of the true self. Fifteen. Courtier Le Matigras would be our devil card. Or, yes, the devil card. Ayin. Divination is uncontrolled energies. Material considerations pushed to their limits. Creativity exercised regardless of effect. Questions of individuality and interdependence. I love this card. <clears throat> 16. 
Deluge, The Blasted Tower, or Pay. Divination is Sacrifice, Unavoidable and Often Misunderstood, Violent Physical or Emotional Upheaval, Revealing Core Issues or Aspects of the Self. Seventeen. This is our star card, which they say Z Etoil. I believe that's how you say it. The star or He. Divination is coming to terms with one's fate and obtaining the clear sight and strength this action brings. Dedication to a life work. The road is clear. The star is sight. Beautiful cards. Oh. Eighteen. Oops. Eighteen is the magic mirror, which is the moon. Or qual Q O P H. Divination is magic and sorcery, occult power, and deception. Look at the eyes in that card. Just amazing with the hands on there. Fourteen is the sun card. Which is the beautiful sun card. Gross, gross, bon ange. Gross, bon ange. The sun, fresh. Divination is influx or helpful energy. Success, possibility earned by effort or possibly not. Love freely, given without regard to object. Happiness, joy. Universal rather than particular love. Twenty. Did I read those cards right? We're on twenty. I might have read those wrong. This is Ancestors, The Last Judgment, or Ion Shin. Divination is your final judgment. An understanding of the worth and meaning of one's actions within the content of the procession of life. This is a beautiful card. Twenty one is Carnival, which is the world card or Tayo. Divination points to a greater appreciation of the elements of the question or concern that is addressed in a reading. Physical aspects of the question or concern release from a problem through physical means. Sorry, guys, my nose itches. Okay, here's the wild card. Which is a Les Barons. Or as we call it, the Joker. Divination is extreme, unexpected turn of events. A sense of humor pulls one through desire circumstances. Okay, I'm not going to read all of the um, the other cards. I'm just going to read the names of them and stuff. Um, but I will let you know what they are. Okay, but I'm not going to read the divination part. So, 
This is Petro. Petros are wands. This would be the Ace of Wands, which is called Dambala La Flamble. Flam Bu. I believe that's how you say it. And if I'm wrong, don't write down in the comments. I'm doing the best I can. Okay. So this would be the Two of Wands, which is Nan Nan Bu Clo La Blam Bu. But all of these cards, guys, has um, up in the corner, like this has the fire up here. So it's a fire sign for the wands. Petro is wands. And it has the number up at the top. So the three. Gedea la flambeu. Four of Wands. Agua la Flamble. Five of Wands. Ogon. Ogon la Flamble. Six of Wands. Legba la flambeu. Or it might be bu boo. Not sure. B E A U bu. Bo might be bow flambo. Flambeu. I'm gonna say it is boo. The Seven of Wands. Erzuli la flambleu. The Eight of Wands. Simbi. La Flamble. Nine of Wands. Masa Le Flamble. Um, ten of Wands. Aska la flambleu. Eleven of Wands. This would be our King. Or the Knight of Wands. Petro Hungan. Queen of Wands, Petro Mamba, or Mambo, Petro Mambo. This would be our Prince of Wands, which would be Petro La Place.
This would be our Princess of Wands. Petro Hunsis. Now we're going to go on to Congo. Congo is our um, cups. Um, water. Okay, our water symbol. Aida Widu would be our Ace of Cups. Our Two of Cups. Gran Ibo. Our Gran Ibo. The Three of Cups. Man Man Bridget. Man Man Bridget. Four of Cups. La Belline. La Baleine. The Five. Five of Cups. Ogun. Bahali. Dio. Ogun Palin Dio. This one's going to be a, a fun one. This next one. This is the Six of Cups. She libo no bo bo or Danny. I'm not gonna try to say that again. And I probably was wrong. <clears throat> the seven of cups. La Serene. Beautiful card. This next one's kind of creepy. Eight of Cups. Simbi di Leu. Simbo. Simbi de. Le eu. Nine of Cups. Beautiful card. Madame La Lune. Madame La Lune. Ten of Cups, Gran Bois, the King or Knight of Cups, Kango Horgen. Queen of Cups, Kango Mambo, Prince of Cups, La Place, Kango La Place, Prince 
Princess of Cups, Kango Hoonsis. Okay, now we're gonna go on to Rada. Rada. Rada, swords or air. So this would be the Ace of Swords. Dambala. We do. Two of Swords. Nan, Nan, Boklo, or Boklu, might be Boklu, that sounds a little bit but more, Nan, Nan, Boklu, I like that, Nan, Nan, Boklu, it's probably not how you say it, but. The Three of Swords. Kide, Kide, Kide. Four of Swords. Agwe, or Agwe. The Five of Swords, the one I'm on. Five. Five of Swords. Ogun Fadale. 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 F E R R A I L E E. Or L L E. Fadale. 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 Six of Swords, Legba, Legba, Seven of Swords, Azuli, Freda, Dahome. Eight of Swords, Simbi, Simbi, Simbi. Beautiful card. I love this card. The Nine of Swords, Masa. It looks like the genie lamp and really cool. So this would be your king or your knight of swords. Or no, I'm sorry, this is the ten. Sorry, the ten of swords. Azaka. Azaka. Rainbow in the background. Like he's gonna till for work. This is the king or the knight of swords. Rada Hungan. The queen of swords, Rada Mambu. Prince of Swords, Rada, 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 
<clears throat> really, you're supposed to say it, la la, and I can't do it right now. La la, la place. La la, la la. I can't do it. <clears throat> My mouth is dry. That's why. La la. Hunsis would be the princess of swords. The next ones are Santaria or the discs or the pentacles, which are earth. Olo Dumar. Olo Dumar. Here's the ace of discs. Two of discs. Olofi. Three of discs, Oya. I love this card. Four of discs, Obatala. Love that dove. Five of discs. Ogun. Ogun. Six of discs. El Gun Gunya El Gunya Seven of Discs Oshun. Eight of discs. Shango, Shang, Shango, Shango. Nine of discs. Ye Maya, Ye Maya. Ten of discs. Oshosis. Oshosi. Oshoshi. I think that's how you say it. So this would be the king or the knight of discs. <clears throat> Santero. Santero. I know I'm saying these ones right, so the Queen of Discs, Santera, Santera, the Prince of Discs, Oriet, Oriet, Eti, Orieti. And last but not least is the Princess of Discs.
Yaguyo. Yaguyo. I feel like I'm giving a Spanish lesson. All right, guys, so that's the deck. Love this deck. Cannot wait to start working with it. Um, I did pull a couple cards from this deck um, not long ago, um, but I hadn't read the book, so it was a little confusing for me. But again, this is the New Orleans Voodoo Tarot by Louis Martini and Sally Ann Glassman. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, keep on liking my videos, guys. Keep on watching. Let's get those 4,000 hours in. I really want to do your giveaway. Um, we got a lot more to go. So I love you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, don't give me too much criticism on my pronunciation of some of these words, but I love you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.